Hi, I'm Dick Hester, Senior Partner at Indiana Business Advisors. I'm here today with some of my colleagues and teammates so we can help our prospective clients understand what to expect in the selling process. I'm here with two of our business intermediaries, Andrew and Jamar, business valuation specialist with more letters after his name, I don't know what they mean, Ed Meisenglen, <laughs> and we have our marketing director, mm -hmm. Lana, and your official title, I know begins with AA, and it stands for? Acquisitions Associate. Acquisitions Associate and Analyst, Joseph. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about first, getting a seller prepared, a potential seller prepared to sell their business. You know, the first thing any particular buyer is gonna ask, a qualified buyer is gonna say, why is this business for sale? So we have to really make sure that our clients have thought through that process. So when someone's thinking about, is this the right time for me to sell? Should I sell now? How would you respond to that, Jamar? So my first question would be, uh, what has you thinking about selling? Um, there's usually two primary reasons uh, and two primary buckets people fall in when they're thinking about selling. The first one is, I've been running this business for 20 years, I'm 40 something years old, I'm tired, I want to spend time with my kids and raise them for the last 10, 15 years of being in my home, and I'd love to take this nest egg that I've built and try some other things over the course of the next half of my life. Um, the second big bucket are those who have um, saved up and they're ready for retirement essentially, and this is part of their big liquidity event that'll finish off their retirement savings, and they may be 50 to 70 years old, they've been running their business for 20, 30, 40 plus years, and now they're finally ready to spend time with the grandkids and do some RVing and really relax. You know, that is so important because lots of people think they want to sell, but what are you going to do after you sell? And that's one of the things you just addressed and made sure that they were thinking about, mm -hmm. you know, so they know what they're going to do after they sell from that standpoint. Yeah, otherwise they're less motivated in the really tough times during the deal. Uh, to get through it unless they have that vision in the end of the pot of gold, so to speak, outside of just the, uh, the cash and the liquidity event. Good. Andrew, do you think to add about when you talk with the seller about that whole, the biggest question of their life, is now the time to sell? Should I sell? Why should I sell? Uh, yeah, you know, Jamar hit it on the head. I think the only thing that I typically follow up with is, you know, trying to understand their expectation of what they are trying to get out of the valuation of the business. A lot of times that's another um, good stress test to find out if you're quite ready to sell the business or not. You know, that that's an important point too, because we have to make sure there's reasonable expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, we, can, we can't work magic. They've done the magic and getting the business to the point it is now, but it's worth what it's worth, and that's one of the things that we can bring to that table. You know, this is what it's really worth and why we think it's worth that much. Mm -hmm. And a lot depends on structure, which we can talk a little bit later on with that.